Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mounts and Meats. I'm Garrett Sebesta. If you haven't watched the last episode, I really encourage you to do it. There's some pretty cool stuff we had going on in the last video. But this week, we're not going to be killing or cooking anything. We're going to be doing a little dog training. I got my little one-year-old dog, Macy. She hasn't been out quite yet in the field, but we've been getting her ready. we got upcoming dove season, early teal, and 2019 waterfowl season. I'll be working with M's dad. He's got Miller, and Miller is a killer, man. He's awesome pup. I've seen him do some crazy things, and I'm really glad that I get to work along him with my dog and kind of do some good stuff. So uh, we're gonna head over there, and we're gonna do some uh, some pretty cool workouts. We're gonna do some holding. We're gonna do some healing, some blind retrieves, and some of your basic water retrieves. So we're gonna kind of compile this in the next few days of training, and we're gonna get going. So thanks, guys. Doing a little dog training, and we got a little thing set up. A couple of these silhouette geese kind of get some dogs, kind of clean some different things. But uh, and Dad, he constructed some kind of sock and teal feather uh, little apparatus we got here. So we're actually going to go out and hide these from Miller. Uh, for those y'all that don't Miller, that dog is badass. And he only knows one speed, and that's haul ass. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to get out here, and uh, we're going to work these two dogs and get it going. So.
Back! Alrighty guys, we're here with my favorite companion, Macy, and we're here at Emily's dad's house and we're about to start working the dogs. But before we do, I'm gonna do a little bit inside of my bag, a little routine that I'm gonna start doing here. So I'm just gonna kind of show you a few things that I have in my personal dog training bag and I'm not a, I'm not the world's best dog trainer and these things that I have may not work for you or some of you may not even know what they are. But I'm just gonna kind of give a quick overview of what I got. So I got your basic throw down, uh, duck bumpers, I got these other two bumpers. Actually, these aren't really that good in water because they try to turn brown and nasty. Um, I got a 30 foot cord, which is really good for if you're wanting to work with a dog with sit and heel, this would come in handy. Or if you have a pup that's not very steady, you know, this kind of can jerk him back and kind of go from there. Got some throw down calls, but my favorite, my favorite thing in my bag is probably the DT system launcher. Now this thing's really, really cool. It's about 100 bucks. You can buy it at Academy or Bass Pro. And the cool thing about this thing is that it takes 22 blank shells. And you can get these actually at Home Depot. I went to three different academies around the area and they either said they don't sell them anymore or they just sold out. So the neat thing about this is it's just kind of like, you know, like a bolt action or like a breakaway, whatever. And these things can shoot blanks or they can shoot the bump. So this is what it sounds like. It's gonna sound just like an actual gun. See, it kind of, kind of fired. And uh, same concept would apply with the bumper and they go probably about 80 yards. So it's a pretty neat deal. These things come in different sizes and power. Like this is the fourth power. Typically I get the third or the fourth. They said if you get the fifth, it's a little too strong for these. It'll break these down eventually and wear over time. So that's what's inside my bag. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. If you got anything else that I might could use in my bag, let me know. Thanks.
wraps up this week's video. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoyed all the action. Remember, like and subscribe. And if you want to see some other stuff that we do in depth inside the dog training, let me know in the comments, and I'll make it happen. I just want to give a shout out to my girlfriend who's been filming the last three episodes. And I love you, and uh, later, guys.